Hey, what is up everybody on YouTube? This is the Warrior of Youth or Gus Chavez here, and welcome back to Bloom's Monkey City Mobile. Oh crap, there's a little glitch on my city. For some reason, when I was trying to move it up and down, it kept on zooming in and out. So that's freaking messed up. So as you can see, I have the first strike capability. Fourth tier cannons are fully upgraded from both sides. Uh, we have the ground zero. We're trying to get the blade maelstrom. We got the Apache Dark Chip, as you can see. There it is. You can see the Heli Pilot's uh, flight school is different. And we have, yeah, yeah, I already told you guys we have the Ground Zero. So, we're going to go ahead and do some contested territory action. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, as you can see, I tried recording, but apparently I messed up the recording for some reason. So, now we're going to have to try again. That's pretty much today's uh, goal. So today's goal is just to beat the ra uh, round 35. There really is no need for higher late game. So I'm just going to show you guys how to beat round 35. If you guys want to know the rest, well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll try. I'll see what I can do. So anyways, how do I want to start this off? Obviously, let's start off with a dart monkey right there. And a monkey sub right here. Or eh, keep him right here, actually. There we go. Monkey sub right there. And that's pretty much how you want to start off the game. So as you can see, that monkey sub is pretty much going to do all the popping power. While the dart monkey, it's just there for support. And now we want to start saving up for farms. That's the very most important key. So the key is to getting at least one or two banana research facilities before the Moabs come out. And that's what's going to help you get to the late game. Now, the people in my contested territory, they don't even go uh, all the way to round 40. Most of them, they've just, they always die at 34. So, I might as well just show you guys how to beat 35 and maybe 36 or something. But we'll see. I mean, you guys should know how to do that stuff. This is, this is not new to you guys. It's not. You guys know how to use, if you want to, first strike capability or the ground zero. And if you guys don't know how to use that, I mean... Well, maybe you'll find out eventually, but not in this video. I don't want to make it too long, and then Iraq Beta can crash on me if the video's too long. So I'm mainly doing this for the purpose of the video going up on YouTube and not making me starting to record it again. So definitely, I don't want that. So there we go. Round five. We seem to be doing a great job. So far, you know, we have no trouble with balloons, so we might as well keep farming I'll upgrade my farm to two zero very soon yeah that's what I'm going to do okay so let's see We're almost there so anything interesting lately in school well week eight is pretty much over so we got week nine and ten and then it's week eleven that's finals week and after that, it is spring break. So it's technically three weeks. We're three weeks away from spring break, you know, in my school. Three weeks away. And anything interesting that I want to do for spring break? Well, of course, you know. I, I want to go see the movie Insurgent. That is the second part to Divergent, of course. There, it's, it's a trilogy. Definitely looking forward to that. It comes out on March 20th. And I'm looking forward to going... And seeing WWE Monday Night Raw at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. That's, you know, I don't live in L.A., but I live close to L.A. So, yeah, I got tickets to Raw, and I'm going to go see it. Okay, let's see. Get that farm right now. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the problem is the tickets are at the very top, and I would have gotten the floor-level tickets. You know, they're only $100. It's not much. I would definitely pay $100 for the front row. But what happened is that I honestly did not know when the tickets came out on sale. And, yeah, by the time I saw the tickets on sale, I was like, holy crap, WWE Raw is in town. I got to go get some tickets. There was pretty much nothing left besides the very top, which sucks. I was really looking forward to getting some tickets in the front row. But there is always the Honda Center in Anaheim. It's only like a, what, one-hour drive, 45-minute drive from here to Anaheim. So definitely looking forward to that. I'm going to go to the Honda Center, and I'm going to try to get the front row tickets at the Honda Center. That's what I'm going to try to do. can't promise myself anything, but I will always check the WWE app 
I'm, yeah, I'm going to be checking it constantly. And yes, hopefully I can get those front row tickets. It's going to be freaking awesome seeing WWE Raw in the front row. Have, have I ever seen a WWE live event? No, I just go to the WWE TV shows, the ones they air on TV. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much how I roll. So yeah, that's what's up. And now, we're going to be getting another form. So anything interesting in WWE? Well, not really. I mean, it's just the, the authority. Same old, same old. They've been there for like about a year or so. And Triple H and Sting, pretty good WrestleMania uh, match. Definitely looking forward to it. What else is what else is cool in WWE? That one guy, uh, Bray Wyatt, ch- challenged The Undertaker. I, I think he's going to come out. I think he's going to answer the challenge. It's going to be sad, though, seeing him at WrestleMania. But you guys know why, why I mean it's going to be a little bit sad. But, oh, well, you know, did his best. Okay, we're going to be using a village. Uh, what else? Oh, that uh, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Honestly, I don't, I don't know who's going to win that match. And here's one mistake I already made. I did not get the balloon chipper for round 12. So we're going to be losing some lives. Not a lot. Oh, cool, not a lot. Yeah, I did not get the balloon chipper for round 12, and that's what cost me a little bit of my lives. But I had to use a lot of spikes, so that's not good. Okay, so now we're going to be getting this farm very very soon. I want to get it as soon as possible, just to get it out of the way. There we go. And now all we have to do is do the math and estimate what it is going to take to get 10.7k. But for now, I think I'm going to build another monkey sub. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. I'm going to build another one because these balloons are starting to give me a hard time. So I might as well just build another monkey sub. And there we go. We have three monkey subs right there. And it looks like we're doing good. Camo balloons, not a problem for us. We have some camo detection there. And now we have some camo detection right there. And the monkey subs at Advanced Intelligence, they have camo detection. So, definitely. All right, anything else besides Insurgent and WWE Raw? One more thing I feel like doing this spring break and that I will do is study for my Calculus 2 class. I'm going to take Calculus 2 in the spring when I come back after spring break. That would be March 30th or so. And yeah, I really haven't been getting a good schedule. I've been getting that class at 4.20 in in the afternoon. When I have classes at 8 a.m. and 9.50 a.m., there's no way I'm going to take that class at 4.20. There's no freaking way. It's just not going to happen. So, and then the teachers, of course, they did not really explain well. And now I realize that in college, you sometimes have to just, you know, read the book and forget of what, you know, the teacher's teaching. Sometimes not all teachers are always going to show you every step of the way, you know, to get a, a, a good grade in the class. And that's how it is in college. In high school, at least your teachers, most of them, try to help you out with whatever they can. And that's one good thing. Okay, let's estimate now. We have approximately 4,000, approximately 2,000. Rigo Rainbows, crap, crap, crap. Oh, where's my Glaive Ricochet? Come on, Glaive Ricochet. Oh, yes, definitely. That was great. That was some fast micro action. Did you guys see that fast micro action? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was, uh, that was a little bit scary. I've been very greedy, and that's why these balloons... Are giving me a hard time but there we go we got the first uh, what do you call it um nano research facility 4-1 and we're trying to get the 4-2 farm and there we go so now i will not be greedy and i will be getting the ballistic missiles because those are actually very good for regrow rainbows and i got a lightning as well another ballistic missile and another one and a spike factory there we go so now I feel a little bit on the safe side. Doesn't look like these balloons are going to overwhelm me. No, it doesn't look like that. So now I'll be getting more farms. Um, farm, hello? Stupid farm. There we go. Okay, but before I get more farms, I definitely need to get at least more monkey subs. There we go. Got a little spike port. Why not? And there we go. Another ballistic missile. We have four monkey subs at Ballistic Missile, and it looks like we're doing a great job with the Moabs. So I'm going to be saving up for another banana research facility, and we should do just fine. So spring break. Oh, yeah. Spring break, for me, it's about a week and a half. 
Yeah, it's freaking awesome. College kids get more spring break than high school kids. But we need it, though. Most college kids are stressed and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know why some college kids might be stressed. And that's probably because they have work. And yeah, I understand. Maybe that's one reason why. But me, I wouldn't say I'm stressed. Just a little bit pressured. But it's actually kind of the same thing. But I'm all right, though. I'm all right. Because I have enough time for YouTube and for my academics as well. So there's no issue going on there. All right. So now. However, I did have one problem, though. I was addicted to balloons. I would play balloons a lot. And now I barely play. One reason why I barely play, you know, battles. Too many hackers. And BMC, hardly play it because it's very time consuming. And I kind of get bored sometimes. I know. I don't mean to disrespect the game. But sometimes I do kind of get bored. Because I rather, you know do something else like watch a movie or watch WWE when I need to so yeah I mean I gotta balance out my time but BMC overall is a pretty great game especially when it comes to contested territory this is my favorite feature of the game because you get 25 blue stones and not only that I mainly do it because of the cash the cash injections you know you get 3,000 cash or 4,000 cash every hour so yeah you definitely want to get all that uh, money out there there we go. We got three of them now. Whoa. You guys are probably thinking, whoa, Gus, that's a lot. Yeah, heck, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> All right. So now we'll be getting another um, uh, village right here. Get a village. And another farm. Why not? Let's see if we can get it, though. Let's see if we can. We probably could. Yeah, we probably could afford it, definitely. That's a lot, guys. That's a lot of freaking money. Look at this. Round 26. And I'm able to do all this? You guys are probably thinking, that's a lot of freaking money. Heck yeah, it is. Look, there's so much money everywhere. And I have another fourth tier farm. That's awesome. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to start getting the balloon shipper up for the ZOM freaking G. And we need to get more monkey subs up. So we'll get this guy on strong. So now we don't. we shouldn't worry about the fifth farm. Actually, we should just worry about our defense now. It's a little bit weak. I, f I feel that it's a little bit weak. It could be. There we go. Some ballistic missile section right there. And might as well get some more dart monkeys. Three juggernauts should do the trick. There we go. And a couple juggernauts right there. So overall, we have four dart monkeys. Now we have five. I have to build five more for the first... No, actually, for not for the first strike capability. For the Super Monkey Fan Club, of course. So, there's one. Oh, I can build it. There we go. Super Monkey Fan Club. And we'll get a... Monkey Sub. Another Monkey Sub. Yeah, I'm just going to be using all the Monkey Subs while I can. This is a lot of cash. This is freaking awesome. Oh, no, no. Get the hell out of here. Actually, mistap. That was a mistap. Okay. And right there. There we go. All the monkey subs are built. And only one chip boon chipper has been built. So we'll build the second one very soon. And now we'll go for the fifth farm. We're going to be very greedy here. We're going for the fifth farm. We're actually going to try and get it to... Uh, there we go. We had it. And now I will be getting um, more dart monkeys. We require more dart monkeys, definitely. Something we need. We'll get another juggernaut right there. That should help us out. And uh, let's see. I don't know. I'll get some third tier dart monkeys here. Uh, the triple darts. I already lost track of how many dart monkeys I have. I know. I lost track. But oh well. And that should pretty much do it. Hopefully we have 10. It doesn't matter. We don't have 10. But we got enough. So there we go. Round 32. Yeah, we made it, guys. We made it to late game. Look at all these farms. You definitely want to do all this crap. If you need to slow down the game, yes, yeah, slow it down. Why, why you got to rush it? Don't rush the game. So there we go. There we go. Okay, next up is the Ice Tower. And the glue gunner combo. I'll just set up a village down there for them. There we go. 
that's pretty much what we need. Ice Tower and Glue Gunner combination. So many crates everywhere. There we go. There we go. So many crates. There's just way too many of them. Okay, we have a Glue Gunner. And now, we'll get a Mortar. Because I think Mortars are cool. So many crates everywhere. Uh, I'll set the target. I gotta set the target. I'll set it right there. For the mortar. I really should get the the upgrade for the mortar though. I really should. There we go. We're gonna be getting a sun god soon. Uh, that's a lot of fast action. You guys gotta be fast at this. Micro, micro, micro. What do I mean by micro? It is just the way you react towards any attack. Whether it's in BTD battles or in any BTD game. It's the way you sell your stuff to get good defense. And that is exactly what I did. You guys remember the problem with the Rigor Rainbows? Yeah, that was a big problem. Definitely, it was a big problem. And what did I do? Well, simple. I just sold a bunch of stuff. So this is why round 35 seems to be pretty difficult. There's way too many balloons. That's one thing. But here's the thing. We can get a first strike capability or we could get the ground zero but it doesn't look like we'll be needing any of that crap it looks like these balloons have been taken down yes so it, we do not need any of that that's one good thing I was getting a little bit uh, worried and scared but no so instead we'll just build another super monkey super monkey the super monkey the super monkey in action I don't think you guys have seen the super monkey in action huh well here it is we're going to get another sun god and then another sun god. We build the maximum number of super monkeys, of course. The, the max number for city level 25 is three super monkeys. So we can build up to three. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. We have so much money, but nothing to do with it. Well, there is something to do with it. But <laughs> there's just so much fast action. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm calling it all. But I, all I all I know is this. Let's just call it little by little. So we have five, four, two banana farms. We have sun god. Wait, make that two sun gods. We have a three, two mortar. We have a f super monkey fan club, which we're gonna get more super monkey fan clubs. We got the ice tower upgraded to three two. We have the glue gunner upgraded to two three. So there's a lot of things going on here, and I don't even know what the heck I'm doing you know so the next thing I want to get is another sun god why not and then I'll just build a bunch of balloon chippers or something so yeah we'll build another sun god you ask and you shall receive just look at all this I did this without supply crates definitely a great hell of a game and make sure you guys and you know enjoy these tutorials this is the second to last contested territory I'm already getting a little bit tired, and because of school, I need to, you know, take a break from contested territory. It is very time-consuming as well, so that's another reason why I kind of don't want to play contested territory anymore. It's, yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming for me. But yes, you know, I might as well give a chance to, to other people to earn the 25 balloon stones and not me. I don't really need any more balloon stones. I pretty much have all the cool upgrades I wanted. Actually, there's one upgrade I still need, and that is the temple. I want the temple, and the rest of the upgrades, I don't really care. You know, maybe the other fourth tier for the spike factory. You know, the the spiked mines. I don't have that yet. So maybe that. That sounds like a pretty cool upgrade to get. Okay, and now what we're going to do next is... We're going to have the heli pilot in action. Yo, Razor Rotor. So we're going to get the freaking Heli Pilot. We're going to have... Well, we only have number... We have three of these guys. Uh, I got to, you know, conquer more tiles so I can get more. The maximum number of Heli Pilots is seven. So yes, that's a lot of Heli Pilots. I need to get seven Heli Pilots. I didn't think I would ever be using the Heli Pilot, but it looks like here it is. In this special episode of Bloons Monkey City, you guys are seeing the Sun God... And the Apache Dart Ship in action. Do you guys want to see first strike capability? Do you guys really want to see first strike capability? We'll see the first strike capability in action once I build my Apache Dart Ships. I think I, I want to build my Heli Pilots first and then build more stuff. Okay, I'm trying to find a spot where I can build Heli Pilots. There's a spot right there. There we go. And we have two Apache dart ships now. Four, two, 
heli pilots. We have two of them, and we're going to get a third one. As soon as we have the money for it, of course. Round 42, this is where I can break my record again. Wow, I can't believe I'm breaking another record already. And I did this without supply grid. So if I beat 43, I break a record. Hopefully we can beat 43. I mean, we have Sun Gods, a bunch of dart ships. I think I'm pretty confident about round 43. So hopefully we have enough. So that's the problem with round 43. There's a lot of ZOMGs and they're very over overwhelming. So I don't know. This looks like a tough one. Yeah, that's a lot of ZOM freaking Gs. Uh, Super Monkey Fan Club, of course. We use that. I don't know if I want to use first strike ability. I think I'd rather use the monkey ace on this on this stuff. So let's get the monkey ace instead. We'll use a, a ground zero. Gotta be using the ground zero soon. Oh, well, these balloons start overwhelming me. Of course, I'm gonna be using the ground zero, but it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Like I even need the grounds. No, I didn't. Need, I didn't even need it. So I'll just save up for the Apache dart chip. All right, I just won the territory again. So we just broke a record, round 44, and contested territory. Yeah, this is a lot of contested territory action, guys. There's so much action going on. We got three Apache dart chips. What do I want to get now? Mm, honestly, I don't know what else to get. I ran out of ideas, you know? I did. I have all the sun gods and the Apache dart chips. The only thing I can get is uh, the ground zeros and more balloon shippers or something. But I don't know if that's going to be useful or not. So there we go. We got that. And we'll get this one as well. And we can get, of course, first strike capabilities. Yeah, I just don't feel like building more balloon shippers. So I just get, you know, simple stuff. There we go. Round 45 already. So many balloons that we have destroyed and conquered. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of ZOMGs. Can we take them down? It doesn't look like it. I'm just messing with you guys. I think I could. Two ground zeros, and that did absolutely nothing. First strike capability, that did nothing as well. Alright, I see how it is. I see how it is, stupid. First strike capability, no. Oh no. There's a lot of balloons. First strike capability, no. That did nothing as well. There's so many balloons on the screen. And I could just, you know, I could try and micro with the ground zero, but there's actually so many balloons on the screen. So, I mean, I guess I could try and micro. And there's too much lag. My device is lagging for being this late into the game. All right, so. Oh, my gosh, we did it. We beat round 45. We beat round 45. We did it. We made it far into the game. We made it all the way to 46. Damn, that's a long, that's a lot. Bunch of dart chips, first strike capabilities, sun gods. There's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, and the ZOMGs just keep coming and coming. There's way too many of these guys this time. So I don't know if we can beat this round. But we're going to try our best to defeat these ZOMGs. Super Monkey Fan Clubs. Um, first strike capabilities. Oh, yeah, we did it. Another Super Monkey Fan Club. Hey, hey, tap. There we go. That was a lot of ZOM freaking Gs. Wow. We made it this far. We made it this far. We've made it to late game. So, for the sake of the video, we're going to take a little break. And I'm going to edit out the rest. I'll be right back. Peace. Okay, guys, and we're back to the second portion of the video. As you can see, it was so close. We're almost there. We have made it to late game in the contested territory. So, this is what I was fearing. That Irek Beta would suck at recording. So, for the sake of the video, 
I might as well take some snapshots, and hopefully we got this crap recorded, you know. Round 47, definitely. We're just rocking these balloons. We have so much money everywhere. I did not even realize I had that much money. So, I mean, uh, I don't know what else to build. There's just going to be so much ZOMGs. I don't think I need the balloon chippers. So, we're going to be getting more first strike capabilities. And that's all I can afford. Uh, probably get some a uh, glue gunner or something, or actually an apprentice. That would be pretty cool. Let's get an apprentice here to the tornado, and there we go. We have some more Moabs trying to get through, so we we're gonna use that, and we're gonna use some first strike capabilities, and we destroyed all those ZOMGs. We used at least three first strike capabilities, so that's awesome. So. Welcome to the second portion of the video of Bloons Monkey City Mobile. This is for the first time ever. We have made it to the late game. So this is freaking awesome, guys. There's too many ZOMGs coming out at me. And I'm just very excited that I broke a huge record with all those banana farms. So that's what happens when you have a lot of banana farms. First try capabilities to the max. And there we go. We're going to be using the ground zero. We're going to try and micro this crap. And there we go. Ground zero that right there. Alright, so we're going to be using more ground zeros because we're going to need the ground zeros. And we're going to need a lot of ground zeros very soon because that's a lot of freaking Moabs. So welcome to late game. It's it's getting freaking exciting, huh? Contest territory. It's so exciting. Bam! Ground zeros all over the place. And we still could not take out all those freaking balloons. I do not have any first strike capabilities available at the moment. Ground zero that crap. And that was enough to take down round 48. Round 48... In the bag. We made it to round 49. That's freaking awesome, guys. Freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. Might as well get ready for ground zeros. The ground zero. And that's a lot of ZOMGs coming out at me. This is the late game action. First strike capability in action. And I'm just taking a lot of snapshots. Ground zero, that crap. And nothing. Round 49 is the hardest level of the game so far. It looks like we are dead here. It kind of does look that way. Uh, yeah. It, there's no way we can beat round 49. Oh my gosh. Those stupid balloons. They got the best of me in round 49. We're using a lot of ground zeros here. So many ground zeros. But still, there is nothing left. Round 49 is probably the hardest level of the game, and can we possibly take it down? Oh my gosh! Holy f No freaking way we took down round 49. So much microing everywhere. We've made it to round 50. A gigantic record breaker. The, the warrior has never been to round 50. I have never been to round 50 in my life. And... Just look at that. It is getting harder and harder for me to win. So many ZOM freaking Gs. First strike capability. A ground zero in action. We're going to need another ground zero if you want to win this crap. A ground zero in action. And still, nothing. There's too many freaking balloons on the screen. We'll see. Too many ZOM Gs. The ZOM freaking Gs. Another ground zero. And no. Ground zero? No. Slow down the game? Maybe. Ground zero? No? Yeah, I think this is over, guys. We've made it to round 50. There's way too many ZOMGs. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh, and I can't afford it. I can't afford this. Oh, my. They were so close, so close. I could have gotten the first. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm still alive? What? There's no freaking way. That just happened. We made it to 51. My gosh. This is... This is historic, guys. You guys are witnessing history here. The warrior has made it to round 51. That is what warriors do. We never give up. That, that's crazy, guys. I don't believe it. So many freaking BFBs coming out at me. And ZOMGs at the same time. So... First try capability on those BFBs, and we'll use uh, Super Monkey Fan Club, a ground zero very soon, but it looks like it's over, guys. We'll sell the mortar, why not, and we'll see how we do, and it looks like we're going to take down 51. 51, not much of a problem for us, 
yeah, 51 wasn't much of a problem, so no, definitely no, we, we got this. Thanks to the Apache dart chips, those are what saved me in round 50. We made it to 52. I, I don't know how to put this, guys. Very historic episode right now in Bloons Monkey City. The contested territory, number six. Your next contested territory will be the final contested territory for now. I am taking a break from contested territory and maybe a permanent break from contested territory. I want to focus on tiles and on more stuff. I might make some more contested territory, but that's if I make a, you know, for my second account, which is my Android account. So I'm probably going to do that second account stuff. So I'll do that. So as you can see, too many ZOMGs, round 52. Uh, if anything, I would probably get a, a Temple of the Monkey God instead. But no, there's just way too many of these guys this time. There's no way I can beat this crap. And we're just taking snapshots just in case I didn't get the episode recorded. You never know, guys. You never know, and it looks like it's over. We are dead. We're dead. We lost. We lost in 52. We lost, but we recovered, and we've made a brand new record in 51. 51 is my contested territory. My best of all time. There we go. The tribute is winning. Well, I was the tribute. I am now the warrior. But apparently the, the game changed the name. So we'll see. Anyways, this is the warrior, of youth, the warrior of Youth saying, make sure you have a great day. It was a great episode, by the way. Uh, stay awesome. Keep on destroying those evil balloons. And peace.